think so. Zora, do you know if Silver is number four on the Smash 4 PR? He's probably on it somewhere. I just don't know if he's... Yeah. Do I know more about this than you guys? <laughs> Let me look. He hasn't played Smash I know. 4 anymore. I know. I haven't played for a while. <laughs> I'm looking it up. I was right! Four. He's above the tie! What is what is the art look like? It's like I haven't even seen that art for the game yet. Yeah, it's yeah. it's pretty new, I guess. It's from a couple weeks ago. Who is Lou Ridge? I don't even know that. I don't, I don't think I've met Lou Ridge before. I know everyone else on this PR. Yeah. I've played them multiple times. The only one I haven't played is Felix. I've never met him in bracket, actually. Really? Not once, yeah. But I played for a long while with this part. Alright. Ooh. All I see uh, from Felix on Facebook is him complaining about not being able to get into Talking Sick Resort. Oh, the, Nick is green, Falco, or Yingling's green and Guns is... Wait. Yeah, he's wait. No, 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 no. My bad. Yingling's white. He, he would be playing with the Sips tag. Ooh, I thought it was the Oh! Sneaks in there right before the Smash tag oh. hits. Oh! oh. The DBZ, let's go. Damn. I want to make sure who it is, but usually usually when someone dies, that's because that's when you can find out which uh, which color they're playing because... They, like, stop moving they, Yeah, they won't move yeah. their hands, but they both died. Do we talk about practice tech skill while you're spawning in? Yeah. Always. <laughs> Keep the hands oh. moving. Sickness simple with that felt. Yeah. That was, that was phantasm. Yeah. Sorry. Doesn't matter too much. Oh, gets caught in his movement there. If you think about it, literally everything in melee, or at least a huge portion of the game, is figure out how to avoid getting into that animation where you're dashing and you're turning around. <laughs> okay, yeah, is Nick is occurrence? Nick is white Falco. You, you know what I'm talking about when you when you like are running and you try to turn around and it takes forever. Oh yeah, the surround animations. Yeah. Trying to do like instead of doing dash dancing and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, literally so much of Melee is just dedicated to avoiding that one animation. I was going to make a video about it, because I don't really think people talk about that. That's a super important concept. Yeah. But, uh... It, it, in Smash 4, turn animations are much shorter overall. But there are some, like, I play Meta Knight, and I turn around, and I'm stuck there for a solid, like, one and a half seconds. Yeah. See, it, it pains me. He, he's got a wisp the cape behind his back. Yeah, and it's like, you, you think Luigi is a bad turn animation, not fam. <laughs> yeah. That's why, that's like, the reason why people don't like Smash 4 is because there's less ways to avoid that animation. You, you can still avoid it, you just have to do extended dash dancing, which is a little bit harder. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Christ. It's still totally avoidable, you just have to put even more time into learning how to avoid it. Yeah. But I mean in general, like, yeah. like not being able to... Um, not being able to wave dash, not being able to like crouch and then do smash attacks. There's and more stuff commitment like that. to dash in yeah. Smash 4. And Brawl was even worse because you could trip. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, Trip Chance started out pretty well and just grew over time. Yeah. Still, though, a very questionable mechanic at best. <laughs> Ooh, high air dodge. Gonna get punished. Oh, whiffs it. Gives him another shot at life. This is dangerous. Would that down smash have hit from that range? No, not not yeah. at, since he sweet spotted the ledge, especially. That, that usually is not gonna. Yeah, it looked like he was a little bit too far for a hit, even if he like held yeah. back to the ledge. Oh, catches him. That's that's the peach down smash. Oh, tries to laser reset him and whiffs it, but oh, gets him. Nice. Option. Gun's looking good in these Falco Dittos, specifically. Can he get his second upside of the night? Hello. I didn't bring him. I fucked it. I'll bring him on Saturday? Saturdays are for the boys! Started out with a pretty good killer combo, but then he dropped it. So, you know. Yeah, guns. Oh, that's. Oh, no. That sucks so that bad. Head up attack. Oh, that hurts. That's something you don't see in Smash 4. You don't see get up attacks leading to death. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, yeah. Sometimes they just straight up kill if you DI bad enough. Yeah. And there are some, like. I, I think it's like. Falcons, if you like are inside of him and you shield when he does it, it just like eats your shield. Yeah, I've noticed that. 
Like, I, I've had my shield broken from a full because a Falcon down smashed me and caught me with both hits. Oh my god. In the shield. And I'm just like, hitting me? How does that happen? Sakurai, dude. Because he gets like the back hit and pushes you into the other leg. Kane's? You're, are you saying you're going to Kane's? I, I ate Mexican food before this. I'm good. I went to Amato's down the street. It's my spot. That was it's my really spot. Good. Really good down air pop up on the platform. The down smash. Oh, that's innovative. Shine out a shield. The best out of shield option in the goddamn game. Shine, shine scares me. Well, that was pretty good though. But, but that's all. Let's get some. Oh, <laughs> keeps Almost going. Had the triple. Weird trade. Goes high. I don't know if I agree with that. He was. That was like the one thing he could cover. Yeah. Probably should have gone ledge. Ooh, nice axle. Goes for it all. This is dangerous. Nick. Gotta clean it up. Or else he's gonna be the second victim of the rain of guns. Okay, tosses him. Gets all of the lasers, and that's gonna be it. Yeah, it's hard on battlefield. You can't ride the wall to get that angle, so you kinda have to go above it a little bit. Yeah. As, as much as I give Lilat and Smash 4, Battlefield in this game is It's something. It's definitely a stage. It's on it's on the legal list. <laughs> Some people think it's the most legal. I mean, on a stage list, it also includes Pokemon Stadium. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> All right. This is it. Oh! That, that's game. Yeah. Or not. He could have. It, it just, was kind of risky. If you if you miss the input somehow, then it's... He could have just jumped off stage and dared, right? Because they would have killed him before the other guy. He might have been able himself. to go straight up and avoid it because he was facing away from him. But he could have shine turnaround there, and that might have covered everything. I mean, like he jumped back towards to get to the ledge. Instead, he could have just like jumped and then committed to a dare and caught him. Mm -hmm. It would have been like, you know, risky. Yeah, <laughs> risky. But man, would have been swaggy. Would have gone for it. <laughs> He knew he still had him in the style points. He made Falco, dude. Get the style points. <laughs> what are you doing with your life? Stadium. Is that where we're going? Yep. All right. Standing laser on the platform is never going to work. All right. I mean, last game, they started off like one shielded, the other guy shot a laser, and then they traded places, and the other guy shot a laser. Yeah. It was like, all right. That'll happen. Yeah. That's another thing that's like, it's, it's a little odd to me in this game. Like, you can get hit and immediately grab ledge. Because in Smash 4 there's a one second time. Oh, yeah. You can't grab ledge after getting hit. So it's like, I, I saw the Falco laser just put him on ledge immediately. It's like, huh. The ledge is pretty good in this game, too. Yeah, it's, if I recall correctly, it, your invulnerability is over if you quick enough and stuff. Yeah. That's nuts, dude. I don't know how many frames of uh, invincibility Falco has after his ledge dash, but it's it's I think, something. I think it's enough to get a wave dash grab off in time. I think so, yeah. Which is pretty nice, if I do say so. That's the Falco classic, right? Jump from ledge to lasers? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you know what they say You know what they say about it, right? I feel like every Falco I me mean, doing it's like, that ain't safe. Don't do that. Yeah. I mean, it works. Yeah. But, uh... It can be punished, especially because nobody does like the really low devil lasers, so there's some extra time in between there. Yeah. Does anybody in this game use Zare for much? Zare? Yeah, who has a Zare? Zeros have hitboxes in this game, correct? Yeah, they do. Okay. I don't sure. think I've ever seen anyone use it from ledge, though. Okay. Because I know that certain characters in Smash 4 use it as a get up option. They yeah. jump from ledge there. I know I do that as Lucas because it's combos, but I've never seen that in really, so I, I didn't know if I, anybody did it. No, yeah, I don't think I have. I ever have seen anyone do it. 
Hey, all you people who play Zaya characters, that's a mix-up nobody will see coming. Tethers work a little bit differently in this game, too, because they go straight out. And they hit, like, the side of the stage. Yeah. And they do strange things, yeah. <clears throat> I've seen a lot of that. Like, Sam has that weird glitch with her grabs. Yeah, the extendy wendy Yeah, it gets to, gets to use it like PK Thunder. <laughs> exactly. That's sick. <laughs> oh, this should be over. Yeah. Bada boom. Nick three stocks him. I'm confused why he dropped that one for a shine of all things. The one thing that would have saved him for that position. Oh, but you